cows coming down. The rain is so heavy, I'm so wet. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited because we're out on a wild camp this time and we've got some biblical rain coming in. There's a huge storm forecast and down lower in the South Island there's actually been a state of emergency declared. So hopefully it's not that bad where we're going. Yeah, so we're going right up to the tops. 800 meter climb, take us about three hours. Hopefully the rain stays away for most of it. So far it's looking good. But we've got heaps of treats, pack's about 50 pounds, and it's gonna be a grueling climb. So we'll carry on with that, and we'll come back to you up on the tops. Easy. We're almost up at camp. As you can see, we're quite wet, and the rain's coming down profusely. So, you know, it held off for a bit, but ended up coming in, and it's getting, it's getting cold. What do you reckon, Victoria? It's cold, and the rain's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's like icy rain. Pretty walking through here. Yeah, it's nice. All the droplets coming off the trees. So I think about another five, ten minutes, and we'll get to camp, which will be nice. So I'll see you there. All right, we are up at our campsite, and we're absolutely saturated. Yeah, we're drenched, and it's getting <laughs> so real cold. Weird. So uh, we're going to get the tarp up first, and then the tent. Get the tarp up. Take some of our really wet layers off, and put a raincoat on. Yeah. So. Yeah, we better act fast because this is when you get hypothermia in these tough conditions. So, tarp up and then we'll come back to you. These are uh, titanium. Should be pretty cool. All shelter here so we should be able to sit in. I could pull this down a little bit more because the wind is coming up a bit. But should be alright, feel the stuff is the tent now. And try and get warm. Oh man. Yeah. I've got to get my um, puffer jacket on quick and get a big brew, a big coffee brew on it. <laughs> it's absolutely bucketing down. Alright, I've got him chain. 
rain into my uh, puffer jacket and my warm dry clothes. Victoria is hibernating inside the tent. But that was a brutal setup. But it's all good now. We've made shelter. So I'm going to get a big cup of coffee on, I think. And then have some hot spicy noodles. But conditions are stabilizing. There's not too much wind. And I think the rain's just going to get heavier from here on out. So pretty cool. Alright everyone, we've got a coffee, brewed up V60. Yeah. So nice. That's a good brew. <laughs> just being out in the rain and having a nice hot beverage is just the best thing. Yeah it is. Sorry. How good is that? <laughs> so I think the plan is have this coffee, get ourselves warm, and then I'm probably gonna have some hot and spicy noodles and several cups of tea and then probably some whiskey. Just keep the hot liquids coming. Yeah, the rain is coming down heavy. It's it's not torrential, but it's like gentle torrential. You can probably see it. There's just sheets of it, but the wind hasn't come up too much. I so. would describe it as persistent, persistent, per, persistent <laughs> persistent precipitation. Yeah, but the setup's looking great. We've got quite a nice space under here. It's pretty sheltered, and I'm just feeling pretty good to be out in this deluge. <laughs> I like it. I reckon it's magical just yeah. camping out in the rain. It's so special. I've got my Gucci Rab jacket on and Victoria's got her new Alpine climbing jacket on, so we're pretty toasty warm. I'm and getting there. I'm not quite toasty warm yet, <laughs> but I am getting there. We were definitely forced to seek shelter. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, we were. We were going to go a little bit further along this track and the rain just started coming down so heavy and it was just time to sit up base, get cosy. Yeah, this is like a heavy rain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we'll see how it progresses, see how we feel and I might have to go get wood. But after several treats and hot drinks, I might be feeling a bit more enthusiastic about it. We've got to have a wood shopping on that. Yeah, I am the wood king. <laughs> But I don't want to be the wet dead wood king. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Anyway, let's see how it goes. ourselves a big brew of caramelized pear black tea. Very delicious. And with that we're gonna have some some digestives. Where are they? Yeah. <laughs> These are my favourite biscuits. McVitie's digestive dark chocolate. They're phenomenal. Is it McVitie's or McVitie's? McVitie's. Anyway, this rain <laughs> has been it's just relentless. I'm going to try to open these without spilling my tea on So, would you like a biscuit? It's um. So it's just been continual deluge like this pretty much ever since we got here. The wind has stayed relatively low which, you know, really helps. But it's quite a cosy atmosphere despite really? being on top of a mountain in these conditions. Man, that's good. I actually, I really do prefer camping in the rain on top of the mountain than what we did last week, which was camping in fine conditions by the beach. Yeah, we've come to the conclusion that... We're not normal. No, and our life outside of these YouTube videos is quite relaxing. So we kind of like to come out and have a bit of a unrelaxing, challenging experience. Yeah, I really enjoy the challenge. I enjoy pushing myself to the limit. And it's fun. The misery of it is How fun. near the limit are you? Not very near the limit. <laughs> but yeah. Well, close. Comfortably close to the limit. I wouldn't want to be colder. 
I wouldn't really want the rain to be any heavier. I think that um, just sitting in relaxation is not my thing. <laughs> no, no. I, I like to be seeking the shelter, you know. Hunkering down in the mountains with no one around. Like we're in the complete middle of nowhere when we're up here. It's cool as. But it's good to have another brew, and I'm starting to, you know, feel like I could go out and get some wood, but I'll I'll be saturated if I don't. It's just too much rain. Victoria thinks I should. I don't know you guys would like to see it. But I we'll just love watching the fire. So yeah, cool. we'll see. I'm not sure I want, if I want to get smoked out of here. So dark. Oh, right. Okay. I give myself about a two out of ten chance that I'll get this fire going. But we'll just see what happens. It's it's the wettest it's ever been. Unbelievable. Hey Victoria. <laughs> Wet, cold and miserable. And these bits of wood are, some of them are alright, but I just won't be able to get them going, I don't think. Oh, so wet. How does it come to this? It's like greasy. Alright, if I can fire a starter, we're going to light it with the stove. Right, I'm going to use the stove. Ah! Ah! Bushcraft, bushcraft. That's a lot of fire starter, but I reckon we're going to need more. YOLO. Let's get it all in there. Turn the bag too, why not? And this is it, the moment of truth. If it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, then all of that was for nothing. I bet your lone wolf, 69, would be able to get it going. It's torrential. Here comes the smoke. Woo! It's like a river running through the campsite. <laughs> Camping in the heavy rain. This is what it's all about, guys. Come up here, great conditions, do some bushcraft or whatever you call this. Right, that's like all my wood. On top of the fire. If this doesn't go, then. Alright, 
Wolf. What am I doing? What am I doing? Fire's kind of going. As you can probably see, it's an extreme deluge now. Um, maybe the heaviest rain that we've ever camped in. And there's like this river that I've tried to build a little ditch to get it draining away. But the fire's kind of going. I don't know how long it'll go for, but... Was it, it worth it? It is going. It is actually going. Victoria, was it worth it? It is worth it. <laughs> Look at it. Well, there's a breeze, so it's Look kind of soaking it. Oh, just oh. looking at it's making me feel a bit warmer. Okay, so I'm, it's like I've been jumped in a swimming pool. That's how wet I am. What and are you going to do? I'm not really cold because I'm wearing this like the fleece thing under the rain jacket. So are you dry under the rain jacket? Probably not. Mm. But what we'll do is just stabilise the situation because things are getting pretty critical. And then we're going to cook dinner, I think, after this. I don't know if there's any stabilizing oh, the situation. I don't know what I've got. I've got whiskey. This is my new flask uh, from Silver Ant. Got a bunch of titanium stuff from them. I got this frying pan, which weighs 145 grams. This flask, which weighs 80 grams. We've got some cool tent steaks Yeah, and those well. tent steaks that we used earlier. I reckon you should get in a little close-up of that flask, though. I will after. I'm not... I'm just still going to sit here for a little bit, but... It's all, it's glittery. Yeah, it's really glittery. <laughs> um, but cheers everyone, I hope you enjoy the fire and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for this effort. Hey. I reckon. Maximum effort. <laughs> Something about this is fun though. I don't know why, but oh. this, this is fun. Man, whiskey tastes nice. Mm -hmm. That's um, Talisker, I love that Talisker. We've still got a little bit of it left, and then we'll move on to something else afterwards. Mm. It tastes so good here in the bush. Mm. Yeah. some research on the interwebs and I found out this new fire method it's called the Scandinavian fire you just put heaps of logs on it and it burns all night keeps you warm and anyway look at this this is my uh, uh, my um, nice little flask from Silver Ant I'll put the link in the description for this stuff Light the house up. Holy cow, it's coming down. It's so the rain is so heavy, I'm so wet. Okay, it's time for dinner. Um, I can hardly hear anything. Hopefully a state of emergency doesn't get declared up here. <laughs> I'm already in a state of emergency. Oh, the smoke's coming back. No. Okay. So this is my new frying pan. Um, 
I think it's about 20 centimeters diameter. Don't know how many inches that is. But it's only 140 grams, it's very lightweight. So we're gonna cook some Wagyu beef patties on it. Which I've got here, four delicious patties. And we got brioche buns and cheddar cheese. So we'll get those on. Okay, here's the burger buns. Thank you. And somewhere in here is olive oil. Here it is. We get tomato sauce too. We got the Heinz ketchup. Tell you what, that fire makes a huge difference. It is warming us up, eh? And it just warms the whole area surrounding us, and I think with the tarp, it must trap some, some of the, the heat. heat in. Okay, so, so I'm, nice. Sorry, need... guys, you're getting smoked out. Oh no. <laughs> just wait, it will clear. We add this in for cinematic and dramatic effect. My fingers are so wet. Let's see if it can go. Oh, first try. Well done. Okay, so we're going to get these burgers on, we're going to cook these burgers up and then we'll come back to you, I think, when we're eating them. Because this is just, this is borderline stressful, you know. You can feel only, the, only borderline. A <laughs> little bit of whiskey in my brain cells, feels quite nice. So get it. heap, whoa, titanium pan. It's glowing red hot. Okay, I have to turn it down a bit. Get these burgers in. One, two. Three. Did that spatula go? Four. <laughs> and I've got this new little Cedar Summit spatula, so hopefully this is a helpful tool. The burgers are <laughs> cooking. Sizzling. Oh I smell them. Yum. <laughs> So hungry. This one is oh, so man. good. Holy cow, this is some heavy rain. get the cheese on those burgers. For these um, waggy patties we're going to put on some drug of your close-up. Not sure if it's going to work. Some red cheddar. And just melt that all over there. The titanium pan does not cook as good as my other GSI. It's just the heat distribution isn't very good and there's a bit of wind coming through so a lot of the heat's coming onto the one side. But. Yeah, it's pretty stormy so, I mean... I mean, look at the conditions we're camping, we can't really complain too much can you? Oh, I can get the we're cheese on there. cooking burgers from the heat. I just need to cook this one. It smells so nice and I can't believe the fire's actually going. I did an amazing job. Pardon? Yeah. Get the cheese on there. This is going to melt everywhere. Little squares. Here we go. This means we've got way more cheese than we need. Well, you can just layer it up. This is quite a fun experience. I was feeling a little bit miserable when I was getting all the wood. I was like, is there any point? I'm just going to go to bed. 
but now I'm like, yeah, I'm the fire king. <laughs> I'm the fire king, the burger king, the whiskey king. <laughs> Got the Heinz ketchup. Douse them in the Heinz. This is hard for. I'll get here. Dinner time. <laughs> oh, it's all worth it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just choking on the smoke. Oh my goodness. Oh, this looks so good. And these are good. Oh, yum. <laughs> Bit more Heinz. So, this was like a... This mm. is it. This is exactly what I like. I agree. This is fun. The ultimate camp. Mm. If you it's can so come good. out in these conditions and enjoy it, you're a pro. Pro bush. Pro bushcrafter. <laughs> but these pro burgers bush, are something else. The cheddar cheese, the brioche, the tangy vinegariness of the Heinz, and the nice meaty Wagyu beef flavour. Mm, these burger patties are really good. I'm in heaven. Oh my goodness. I reckon this is maybe one of the best fires we've had as well. Mm, I've had better fires. That's a good <laughs> fire though. I don't have any smoke in my face or anything. It's yeah, the great. smoke is going that way, which is very nice. <laughs> but I think we're going to eat these burgers, mm. enjoy them, tidy up, and then I don't know what we're doing after that. Probably cup get into tea. bed. No, cup of tea. Grab a cup of tea, some more biscuits, and I think it's time to retreat after that into the tent. But I'm so happy it's all turned out good. I'm just filling up the water. We've tied it up a bit and we've just got the kettle on. We're going to have a nice cup, cup of tea, tea and a biscuit and then retreat into the tent. Look at this fire. <laughs> Man, that's impressive. I wish I was just a little bit closer. I can feel quite a lot of heat wafting from it. But I'm starting to get a little bit cold. I'm not even wearing my down jacket which is kind of dumb, but I'm so wet. I was, didn't really need it because the fire was warming me up. But That's good. A little bit chilly now. The whole tarp is dry because the heat's kind of getting trapped under here and drying it out. Mm -hmm. so we have this cup of tea, a couple of biscuits, and then probably get into bed. Yeah, I'm excited to get into bed now. It's yeah. really so cozy. I hope the tent's not leaking. I love sleeping with the sound of the rain on the tarp. It's just it's yeah. so peaceful. Better than the washing of the ocean. That's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but it should be a good night's sleep. I think the rain's supposed to kind of go like this all night. Maybe a few heavier patches. And then hopefully in the morning it eases off. Hopefully it eases off and we want to walk out. That would be nice. But yeah, there's like the river kind of flying under the tent, so <laughs> hopefully there's no leaks. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Yeah, but we're only out for one night, so it's not like... It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I think we'll survive. <laughs> you think? Yeah. So we have this cup. It'll be nice. And then retreat into the tent. I'm so wet, I have to somehow get into the tent without contaminating the whole inside of the tent with moisture. It's quite difficult. It's just one of the joys of camping in these conditions. It's bedtime. 
we're inside the tent and it's quite cozy. We got the big Agnes Berry lights in here and the bio light. And we're on the uh, the repeat tent floor pad. We have our negative one degree quilts with us, right? And it's a nice setup. It's like it's being back in it's like being back in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll put all the links uh, to the gear that we're using in the description so you can check them out. We shop at the gear shop and you can get all this big Agnes stuff there. It's really nice. Mm. It's a good setup. But yeah. Cozy, yes. Yeah, this is cool because this pad covers the entire floor of the tent, so you can like move around inside the tent. Definitely makes it easier and it's <laughs> Yeah, the fire is still. I can actually feel heat from it. <laughs> it's roaring, and there's just like a river in front of it out there. And it's so it's nice. nice. I'm looking at the um, reflections from the fire. From the yeah, and you can hear these little frogs like croaking. I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but I'll be quiet for a second. Bit frog croaking, but I think yeah, that's about it. Unless, well, unless we have some crazy uh, rain or wind or snow or something over the night, we'll probably see you guys in the morning. But thanks for coming along, and it's been a great camp so far. Yeah, I'm having so much fun. Yeah, this is nice, <laughs> especially now we're in the tent. So warm and cozy. But yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Good night, everyone. Just got up, looked around. The rain is coming down. That's relentless. Hopefully it passes. I can get back to sleep. Victoria's fast asleep. See you in the morning. Good morning everyone. That was a pretty noisy night with some pretty extreme rain coming down. <laughs> but there was a pretty good sleep, really. Neck's a bit stiff, but I feel pretty good. I had a really good sleep. That's yeah. Nice. Victoria just lies there like comb it out. <laughs> Unresponsive. Oh, but the rain seems to have stopped, which is actually really nice. So I think we'll have a coffee, probably in bed. Then we'll get up, have another coffee, and then cook breakfast. Yeah, but quite nice to be waking up here. These little pitter patters and droplets falling into bed too. Which is okay because I don't have to go anywhere. This is going to be a delicious brew too, it looks so nice. Perfectly extracted on the V60. Mm. Yeah. It's I nailed it with this one. This is a perfect brew. <laughs> brew with a view out to the misty tussock landscape. It's like kind of like Jurassic Park up here. This is untouched wilderness. Then I come along and touch it with a fire. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. There's a wetter. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in Victoria's boat. We have to get it down. Oh my goodness. There's a giant wetter in Victoria's boot. There's, there's a code wetter. Are those tears? It's just a wetter. <laughs> oh no. Look. Here he is. Get him out. Yay. That's the wetter. No. 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 Get it away from me, please. Okay, we'll put it away. What was it like inside Victoria's boot, mate? Oh.
Oh, that's a good cop. <clears throat> wow, this is something quite new for the channel. We're having these Abe's bagels, which happen to be jalapeno flavored ones. These huge lashings of Philadelphia, or whatever that stuff called, cream cheese. And then New Zealand cold smoked salmon. It's delicious. It's really nice. What a treat. Mm. Mm. I'm surprised at how nice the bagels are. I'll try to show you, it's a bit of a mess. Mm -hmm. cream cheese over everything but it's rather it's just divine to be up here and eat something like this it's the perfect morning mm. this is a great combo <laughs> I'll do this again Breakfast when camping is kind of strange. I'm always unsure of what's the best thing to eat. I tried the waffles, which gave me stomach cramps, but they tasted delicious. We did the, the crepes. They just weren't that good. Bacon's always nice. Bacon buddy, bacon sandwich. Mm. But it's a bit much sometimes. I think these are quite heavy to bring up. Dense bagels, but they're delicious. Do you reckon Victoria? Mm, they're really tasty. Tell us about the flavour. Mm -hmm. The jalapeno and the bagels just really elevates it, I reckon. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's funny. It does. It makes it, instead of just a plain bagel, it's mm. like that little bit extra without having to bring extra toppings. Yeah, the bagel kind of tastes like jalapeno water, like that zingy kind of vinegary jalapeno flavour. Mm. But this is a great camp. I'm super happy with the setup. All the gears mm. performed excellently. The tarp again, it's this great. The salmon's so good. The tent, I like this tent. It's got a great door. As you can see, we can sit right back next to the tent. So you can just grab stuff in and out of it, which gives you enough room. Lots of people ask, what size tarp is that? It's a three by three tarp. I think for this spot, a four by three would be perfect. It'll just give you a little bit more room. So I think we'll get one of those. Mm. Mm. The titanium plate um, frying pan, it's pretty good. It's very light, but for cooking like four burgers, it just doesn't dissipate the heat across the surface too good, so it's a bit of a bit of a pain. Mm. But cooking some onions or something and it would be alright. Mm. But other than that, everything's good. I love the floor pad, the quilts, everything. I'll put all the gear in the description. It's all good gear. We're getting pretty optimized, I think. Mm. But we do have a new tent coming. Well, it's arrived. It's a Z-Pax Offset Duo. I think we'll be one of the first people on YouTube to probably have it. So <laughs> that tent, I call it, it's like a shopping bag or a comdom. It's made of It's dynamo. very, very thin. It <laughs> weighs 600 grams. <laughs> so I'll use that. Maybe solo on the next camp, I'm not sure. But Provides just enough protection. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be funny. It's always cool to test out new stuff. But it looks cool, I set it up at home. It's a cool looking tent. Abel's been wanting it for ages, so he's probably going to be super excited taking that out. Mm. There's so much cream cheese in that one. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it's oozing cream cheese. <laughs> but I think we have these. We might show you out into the mountains, get some water, have another coffee. I guess we'll pack up, but the rain's... It's eased a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost right. stopped. There's just little drips coming off the, the beech trees, but... It looks like the sun might come out almost. Whoa! It's <laughs> foggy, yes. The tarn's got nice, fresh, 
rainwater in it. You can't really see up to the tops. There's quite a bit of fog. It's pretty cool out here. Tidy up the fireplace. All right, everyone, <laughs> we're all packed up. Uh, the rain's kind of coming and going, and I think it's going to set it in again. So we're going to get out of here. It's about a two-hour walk back to the car and then a two-hour drive home, so yeah. home for dinner. Yep, so we'll, uh, we'll head on down the mountain now, and I'll film a little bit on the GoPro, so I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the river as well, see how high it's gone up. But we'll start heading out now, and we'll come back to you a bit further down the mountain, I think. You can see along here, it's very, very wet. The tracks just turned into a complete bog. The rain last night was just full on and went on for hours and hours, so just everything's completely sodden. We're down at the, the desolation of the river. It hasn't come up too much. It'll probably drain down pretty fast. But it's quite loud still. I think we'll get a little drink and it's only about 20 minutes back to the car. Well, we made it back down off the tops. It's a bit of a slog coming down. How was it, Victoria? It was good. Good? Happy to be back to the car. Yeah, we slipped over a few times. More than a few. <laughs> it was so wet and slippery <laughs> on all the roots. But, the beach but yeah, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was the trip. We're back at the wagon, and yeah, thanks for coming along, guys. Really appreciate it, and thanks. Thanks for all your support. Yeah, your thumbs up, your subscribes, your comments, all that stuff, and special thanks to the members. Yeah, we'll so, see you next time. Yep, yeah, we will. So, bye bye. <laughs>